This is what is left of the warehouse, belonging to the Federal Capital Territories Department of Agriculture and Rural Development in the Karimo area of the nation's capital, after the facility was looted in the early hours of Sunday, March 3, 2024. The FCT Minister of State visits the facility in the company of officials of the Federal Capital Development Authority to access the level of damage. The minister gives a breakdown of the items looted. Woodlands attacked the spray warehouse and packed everything that's here, including the drains, not only the food items that are here, including the roofings, windows, and even the gates of this space and offices were all attacked. Due to the nature of the situation in the country, His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, it was a mandate to distribute palliatives to all the area council in FCT. And we were there, we did distribution about twice, and then about to do the third one where these trucks were here to offload these food items, and then they were attacked. So my even injured. This is really a bad situation, and it's not something that will take it lightly. All those that are involved must be brought to Poku. Already, 15 suspects have been arrested for their involvement in the incident, while some exhibits have been recovered, including foodstuff and other vandalized items. An early attempt on another warehouse in the Idu area of the nation's capital was foiled, and five persons were arrested by officials of the Nigerian army. The minister refutes claims of food hoarding and pledges to reinforce security presence in the warehouse. This food is for them. Nobody is going to take it away from them. But it has to be done in an according manner. But uh, the way this thing happened actually is beyond hunger. Rush, come here. Meanwhile, the FCT administration has denied reports of fresh attacks on truckload of food. Explaining that the attacks seen in the viral video on Monday morning did not emanate from the FCT. From the nation's capital, Kumbi Abuluadi, Channels Television News.